Welcome viewers, I'm Luke and the topic of this video is optimization in single variable calculus. Optimization is an important application of calculus where we find minimum and maximum values. In this branch of calculus, we'll hear the term greatest and least and optimum when finding a certain value. Our video example will be about the cylinders. Take this can of soda for example. This can's dimensions were chosen based on the amount of liquid it could hold while minimizing the surface area. Doing so saves materials like aluminum to make more cans for the company and this would in turn save money. Something like this long tube or this stretched out cylinder is impractical after all. Now let's get down to the math. For our example, we'll go along with the cylinder again. Say I'm the head of a new soda company and I need to design a soda can that will hold one liter of soda with as minimum material used. We'll sketch it first. We already have the volume, 1000 cubic centimeters, so we work with easier numbers. Volume equals pi times radius squared times height will be our primary equation. Now we begin to find the optimized surface area. The formula for a cylinder surface area is 2 pi times radius times height plus 2 pi times radius squared. Currently, there are two variables, r for radius and h for height. Since we can't continue with both variables, we have to replace one. At our primary equation for volume, we can solve for the variable of h, divide both sides by pi r squared, and h equals 1000 over pi r squared. Then plug in h into the other equation. Now the only variable will be r. Simplify. Now our next step is to take the first derivative. Don't be scared if you've never heard of a derivative before. Mathematically, a derivative is an expression representing the rate of change of a function or slope with respect to an independent variable, which is our r. Derivatives are needed for a lot of calculus. Now the point of optimization, like graph analysis for our experienced calculus students, is to find maximum and minimum values. These values are called critical points and are found where the slope of the function is zero or it makes the function impossible. To do this, we'll set the derivative of a or a prime to zero. For our equation, we'll be using the power rule. We'll get zero equals negative 2000 r to the negative second power plus four pi r. Add 2000 r to the negative second power to both sides and now we can rewrite 2000 r to the negative second power as 2000 over r squared. Now I want to make a point here is that zero is a critical point because it makes the problem impossible since you cannot divide by zero in the earlier step. However, this or negative numbers cannot be our value for r because there's no such thing as a negative radius or radius of zero. Now to simplify this, We'll multiply both sides by r squared to cancel out the left side's denominator. Almost done. Now let's divide both sides by 4 pi. This will give us r cubed equals 500 pi. Take the cubed root of both sides, punch into the calculator, and that gives us 5.419 for the radius. Now that we have this, recall that h equals 1000 over pi r squared. Plug in, punch in, and for H, we have 10.839. And so, for my one liter soda, an optimum can would have a radius of 5.419 centimeters and a height of 10.839 centimeters. These values give us 535.174 square centimeters for our surface area. Now we'll prove it. We'll change the value for the radius to five. Plug into this equation, H equals 1000, over pi r squared and our h value becomes 12.732 centimeters. This will give us 557.067 square centimeters for our surface area. That's larger than what we got earlier. But what about a larger radius value like 6? Well a radius of 6 would give us an h value of 8.842 centimeters. So its dimensions give us 559.53 square centimeters. Also bigger than our first solution. We could try more and more numbers, but in the end, our first values give us a small surface area. This is optimization. It's something you'd learn in your first calculus class and a very integral part of calculus and is very widespread.